Hey there, gang. So the other day, while I was playing a non-cigar box build, I ended up going against a team of survivors that all had distortion. And if there is any time to be thankful that I didn't have cigar box, well, this would probably be one of them. Because the problem with distortion when you have cigar box is that you can't afford to pick a different chase, chase uh, go after a different target, because every survivor is going to have the protection of not only, you know, you can't see their R's, but you won't be able to see their scratch marks. And this makes trying to catch a survivor at any type of high wall tile or indoor structure, which we were on temple of purgation very very difficult you know especially after the rework to the uh, the red forest maps they added a lot more of the like the tall tree tiles it can be pretty easy to get lost if again you don't even see scratch marks you know you don't know if a survivor is still at a loop rotating around it or if they've already abandoned it it can be problematic so imagine my shock when after the match finished we noticed every single one of them had it The thing is, too, yeah, six is enough, but you, you want, I think survivors counting bottles is fair counterplay. I, I think it's, it's so having it to where survivors know for sure how many bottles they are playing against per reload, that is, that is really nice, I think, for on the survivor end. But also, um, what's really great, and this is going to be in a video I talk about tomorrow, it's going to be really, really great is that we can now use those add-ons for a better purpose. We know he's going around because I'm inside his fucking head. Like, that's the thing, gang. I don't need Cigar Box. I don't need Cigar Box when I just, like, you know... Oh, my God. Oh, man, when I let my nuts hang, let's fucking... No. Oh, oh. Shit. No! Yeah, it's perfect! Good chase. All right, where are we taking him? Let's take him right here. Two change, yeah. All right, so they're on this gen. We're gonna cross map here. See, that's the thing, y'all. I feel in power. I feel like I can just, I can just do what I want. You know what I mean? Like I, oh man. Not, I don't wanna say like do what I want, right? But like, there aren't a lot of tiles I just need to say like, okay, I need to break chase. Unless it's some shit like Gideon or something like super ridiculous, like that one tile I think on the last map, the really, really large one. I don't see where anybody is and I don't have the information to look for them. We see a crow. Did y'all see that crow over here? Did y'all see that? That's what's about to ask. Y'all see that crow? This is an obsession, which is kind of a throw of our stacks. So we're not even going to hit her. We're not even going to hit her for that reason. I'm not even trying to camp here. Ironically, but I figured someone would be unhooking and I wanted to pressure the unhooker because I got my 5% haste So now I'm just gonna go for my 10% 10% 10% good now I go back I'm gonna go for the unhooker if someone comes I'm gonna go for the unhooker here hmm. Rotate around about to say we know she's playing around this Good fucking sh oh, need to start moving fast <laughs> Good shit. Sometimes I don't think it's worth getting the tag. Why did I not hit the meg? Some people might be wondering. Why did you not hit the meg? Meg is a med kit. So either I throw away all of my stacks, literally all of it, to downer and hooker once, or I, or I keep my. You were just asking to get your fucking. Please. You are the greediest little shit, dude. You don't make this. You don't make this. You don't make this, my guy. The break is here. You don't make this. Because remember, it's only 3%. <laughs> hey, Cammy. I think it's a clown with these add ons and Sudoku Rapid. It seems pretty strong. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. You have to try this uh, new speed. They're they're amazing. They're amazing. Like Cammy, <laughs> Cloud is so fun. You're gonna love Clown. The the devs the devs and I, I'm not even kidding, gang. The devs did Clown perfectly. I'm I am so blown away with what they chose. There is not a single thing I dislike about the Clown changes. Everything was perfect. <laughs> Oh 
almost told myself. You know, it's so crazy to think about. I think about how the devs said for a while before I started using yellows and shit, y'all. Like, we're talking a while ago, sometime after the rework. Everybody thought the yellows weren't worth using. I remember, apparently, there was a dev quote, someone saying, people haven't figured out the way the yellows were intended to be used. Or how clown's power was meant to be used. I truly wonder if the devs had this idea, like, all along. Oh, man. I don't know, I'm just rambling at this point. What are they doing? We don't see anybody on these on these gens. Probably shouldn't be taking that, but I mean it is uh it is some free pressure. And we get to move super fast now going for the Steve. Yo, I gotta chase somebody. Sorry, Steve, it is what it is. You know, sometimes it's how the cookie crumbles. Oh I just don't know where the hell anybody is, gang. I'm sorry. I have no idea where anybody else is. Sorry, Steve, nothing personal. <laughs> yeah, he is. You can run so many like add ons and perks on him. He's a solid B tier. I think Clown is a B tier killer. You're still going to have problems like without telling or camping against high level teams, especially teams that bring the good shit in the pre run and the on with the on with the E, you know, with the on. But other than that, like, you feel in control, which is what matters. I had Red Stain because I fuck up my bottles. What are they doing? Can I get a chase going, please? Like, yo, oh my gosh. I'm, it's like, I just want chases, man. I'm literally just trying to go for chases, and I'm getting... What's up, my guy? I want to do a, a setup through that hole. Oh, wow. Playing this so poorly. I had red stain. He's going to rotate all the way around. Like, dude, how do I know what you're doing with that cigar box at that fucking tile? Like, my man, I don't even have cigar box, and I'm still getting you with this shit. All right, let's see. Actually, not bad. Good chase, good chase, good chase. We're gonna hit one gen soon, probably before I get this up. I like to do a little spin sometimes for some player. If Clown didn't have yellows, we don't have to imagine. We knew how that was a while ago, and it was terrible. You must not have been around for when Clown did not have yellows. That was actually a thing, yes. Make sure someone else is here. I want Meg. 5% from Meg. 5% from Meg. Hey, Meg. 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 Thank you. We don't hit because Stabithle stacks. We don't hit because Stabithle. We know where Kate is. Take 5%. If she decides to be froggy, we go for 5% again. She's upstairs. We're gonna probably rotate back into Meg again. Rotate back into Meg. We know Meg's gonna. Nothing from Meg here. How interesting. Take this then. We wanna play this very intelligently because I'm trying to get the. Okay, here's what we gotta do. It's a little bit awkward now. Things are a little bit more awkward now. I can only afford to commit my pressure in certain ways. Rotate back around this way. Good. I can take this chase. It's not how I wanted my yellow to land, but I figured she's going to take erratic movement, which would make things a bit harder. We, she doesn't make this. Perfect. We hit her right as she vaults, which means that she goes down and we don't have to worry with carrying her. That's amazing. Oh, we need to aggress with our hook. Can we do that? Can we? No, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I think we do aggress with this. Oh my gosh, no, we can't. We can't fucking, because the way the hill is feels bad, man. Hook like this, Meg's probably going to pop the other gen. Yeah, well, we did spread our hooks. Aren't we at least the kindest player of the year? This gen's definitely got to go. I'd be surprised if it done. And if it does, the other one is no progress. We know that. The other one is no progress. 
Hey, so someone's on this gen. Someone unhooked her. She was on the hook. Someone's on this gen. Holy. No, they're out on this gen. That is a long message, but I can't get to that right now. My apologies. reload yet we need to rotate back to that gen because that gen is absolutely gonna have neg on it at this point it's gotta have neg on it we're gonna go through temple because we have a drop through temple and it's the most efficient pathing we know meg is right there oh i didn't expect her to start going that way good thing we caught her I want to get 5% potentially and go for Steve, because we've got her kind of boxed in. We know Steve wants to get this gen. But he's actually not coming back as quick as I thought. As long as we keep her somewhat zoned or we know where she's going, we can afford to be a little bit like this and especially get more, uh... Is she going to kill Shaq? You don't tell me that I lost track of her. Oh my gosh, she's going so wide. I have to go back now. Holy fuck. I, sh I fucked things up. I fucked things up. Uh, we still have an opportunity to cut things off here because we know the other gens don't have a whole lot of progress. What are you doing? This is the time where I would need what's it called because we hear him fucking opening chests. He's down there, and I don't know where it is because I also need to play around Meg. We're gonna we're good to rotate a bit, I think, toward this gen to look for. Uh... She might be on this, but I just I I don't have the the ability to play. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is all I need. This is all I need. We're good now. Unless she like pulls off the no, she can't pull off the adrenaline play of the century. Good stuff. He's gonna look to play. We can actually... We're good here. Very close game. Holy shit. Had to lock in for a minute. Good game. GD's. Pulled it back. Good macro. Pop the screen. 500 hours. Ooh. This time, because I realized I want to get a... Yeah. Boom play clown quit the game for a year. Oh wow. You're a G thank you. Thank you plays. That's really, really awesome. I'm glad to hear that. That's a very, very nice wholesome message. Sorry, I was a little bit focused on this game. Thank you, that's very kind. Okay, she wants to chase. And she's she's just she's zooming, gang. She's zooming. I was gonna see if she wanted to you know give give me some nodders or anything. Damn, look at how fast we are with that play with your food. He's probably like, oh my god, he's so fast! Perfect bottle placement. We rotate off this. Rotate off this. Pre-drop. See, look at that gang. Calculated, calculated. All of that calculated. Everything from her not dropping the pallet and trying to leave the tile and having to go around to avoid my pink. Calculated. Oh no! I have the thing turned off so because I was recording a video. Thanks for the gifted sub. I'm sorry. Hollow Nocturne, thank you. That's so kind, thank you. Sorry I didn't have the alert box on display. I was I was recording earlier. That's so kind for the gifted sub. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, Hollow Nocturne. I'm very sorry about that. Alright, let's see.
So what I really like about this match is that almost every chase felt very straightforward across the board. There wasn't a moment where I felt like, man, I'm having such a rough time because I don't see where the survivor is due to the R reading from Cigar Box that I would have had an easier time in chase. And again, I know that they have distortion, but that's my whole point, is that the idea that Cigar Box can be a reliance that a playing clown without it is impossible. Well, I didn't really find that to be the case here. You know, we were able to just use the speed differentials for the invigoration and our intoxication. And that combined with you know, being able to actually see scratch marks made all the difference because even if you can't see the R reading of a survivor due to distortion, the problem is not so much that in the missed opportunity cost of the add-on. The problem is they have no scratch marks. You know, that's always been my main complaint with distortion is that survivors are essentially buffed because you are either taking advantage of a power or looking to do something with a perk. It's one thing for the perk to counter another perk, right? I really, really like that concept of distortion, but with how it can be used in chase against a lot of killers, even someone like Huntress with her R-reading hatchets. You know, you, you hit someone with one of those R-reading hatchets, they now don't have scratch marks and you don't see the R-reading. Like, I don't really like that aspect of the perk, so I would obviously like to see that changed, but, you know, you know, pretty fun match in my opinion all across the board so hope y'all really enjoyed this match if you're interested in learning how to play clown better i have a very extensive clown guide i'll also be uploading some more highlights in the future if you're interested in catching matchings like these live i stream on twitch during the weekdays typically so i can also have a link to my stream in the description as well but other than that i hope y'all enjoy this video and i'll see y'all next time later gang